simulators, it gives you um, the full experience except for car, you know, the things that could never work, such as mobile connectivity, uh, battery level. And, it, um, and it, it is all free. So, this all went wrong. That's okay. Um, what do we got for time? So, does this make any sense now that everything failed? Can you kind of know, get the idea of, of what to do? Like, you, you either use App Studio, in my opinion, and you get the base class and the base sort of layout of your app and you put that into Visual Studio. Or you just start from Visual Studio and you design the whole thing yourself. Or you drag your iOS device, your app in, or you drag your Android device, uh, APK file in. Yet there's so many op uh, opportunities to do what it is that you are best at, right? So a lot of the technology is only you have to learn something new. And yes, sure, there's something maybe, you know, in terms of Visual Studio, there are some things, but the learning curve is just so low um, or, or not steep. So does that make sense? That's a yes. <laughs> um, okay. So that was that part. So, uh, oh, yeah. Now, if you do want to dabble with this and you do want to get uh, a better understanding, because we just don't have time. But again, I get back to um, Microsoft has, uh, has become the good guys, I'd say. All right? they, everything is open source almost. They even open source in .NET, and you can contribute to it. Like, it's a proper open source project. You can do pull requests, and they may get it. And it's the same with these. There's all these universal samples, and there's a lot. And this is just to get you going. So if you wanted to do, say, a barometer, there's a thing here that's a bit small. Um, there's a way that you can get a barometer sample, right? Um, there's so much help out there, and there's so many 